microfone para ela. Hello! Hello! Olá, Moni! Como está? Bem, como está tu? Estou bem, obrigada! Bom, bueno, eu entendo um pouquinho de português. Se me queres falar em português, mas te lo puedo falar em inglês ou em espanhol? Hablar es en, en, en inglés. Yeah. <laughs> Hablar es en inglés. Let's, yeah. let's mix. Yeah. <laughs> let's mix everything. Well, it'll, it'll be, an, it'll be a, a, world, a world travel day. So, how are you? <laughs> I'm okay. I try to, to cosplay Claire. A blonde it. Claire, maybe. Oh, I just dropped it. my phone. <laughs> That's awesome. Is that the one? It has the made in heaven in the back, right? Yes! Awesome! Yay! Very cool, very cool. Well, hello to everyone yes. on here too that's with us. So... Hello, everybody! Um, so, Stephanie, um, I'm trying to, uh, to mix a, a little English and Portuguese because uh, most of our audience uh, is Brazilian, okay. so I'll I'll do my best to talk to you in English and then I'll translate in Portuguese. Is that a problem to you? No, not at all. So, uh, let me see, if I, am I saying this correct? Olá, pessoas! <laughs> Olá, galera! <laughs> Todas as pessoas, não? Um, uh, Persona is, is in, in Spanish, is in Spanish. Wait, when you say everybody, everyone, how do you say everyone? Ah, galera. galera! Olá, galera! Olá, galera! <laughs> I love it! I'll try, I'll try! Yeah, I can teach you some, some expressions in Portuguese because every time I do these live streams, I always teach uh, Brazilian expressions to everyone. It. It's like, we, we have the fica em casa, that's the stay home, stay home in yeah. Portuguese. Okay. So we yeah yeah we say fica em casa. Fica em casa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfect. Guys. Yeah. Guys, really good. It's English, Portuguese. When you need to translate anything, that's totally great. So. Okay. Thank you so much, Stephanie. First of all, thank you for accepting my invitation to this uh, this chat. It's my talk show, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Thank you for having me. I've been wanting to talk with you forever. It's been years. You and I have been trying to get in contact for years. So um, even before you were Claire, <laughs> well, I almost so I wanted to talk to you back then, but Claire was happening, so I was worried to say anything because I might slip up. So I had to stop. <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine that. <risos> gente, a gente estava conversando porque eu já conheci a Stephanie quando ela trabalhou no Devil Within 2. Só que aí aconteceu o Resident Evil 2 Remake no meio do caminho e a gente não pôde se falar. Mas eu já estava, então, Stephanie, você não quer dar uma entrevista? E aí ela sumiu. Ela ficou caladinha, ela ficou... Oh, aí eu, ué, cadê a Stephanie? Where is Stephanie? <risos> But that's okay. We are together now. Yes. That's what matters. <laughs> There's a question here for you uh, from uh, Gianna. She's asking if you know Alison Court, the first uh, voiceover actress for Claire. I don't know her personally. I don't, but I love her work. So she's obviously, we've all grown up with her for so long with lots of different things that she's done. You know, Claire, she also did... Um, Oh my God, what was the, uh, the clown? I used to watch the show. What was the name of it? She used to do that show. Um, As a clown, yeah, right? I, I, I don't know the name because it's not in Brazil. <laughs> it was so good. I remember watching it when I was a kid. Um, she also did the voice of Jubilee. I mean, she's been great for salon, but I've never had a chance to meet her personally, so. <laughs> Yeah, I never had the chance to interview her, but maybe we could do a live stream with the two Claire's together. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> would you like to do it? That would be very interesting. <laughs> oh, Steven said that the, the name of the show was The Big Comfy Couch. Yes, the Big Comfy Couch. I love that show. That was so fun. It was so quirky and so cute. So... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah, maybe we could uh, arrange a, a live stream with the, the two Claire's. So I'll talk to my friends from Crimson Head Elder. They are great at uh, those uh, live streams in English because, well, I, my English is not the best in the world. So your they English, are natives. Money, your English is not bad. I think you're too tough on yourself. Your English is pretty good. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's so good to hear. <laughs> Então, gente, ela disse que ela não conhece, né? Alguém perguntou se ela conhecia a dubladora da Clara, a Alison, e ela falou que ela não conhece pessoalmente, mas que ela gosta muito do trabalho dela, porque ela também fez um programa nos Estados Unidos lá, que é tipo de criança, assim, que é o The Big Comfy Couch Show, que é tipo é um, ah, um, é um, so, um grande sofá confortável, tipo, é alguma coisa assim. Então, ela falou que conhece. Uh, someone is asking you if you play video games well. Yes. I think you do. Yes. Okay, do we want to see? Well, first off, for those of you, well, Money, you've been on, you've seen my Twitch channel before, right? I did a right, of, of course. Since we're hanging out yeah. in my house anyway. We're about to get comfortable. You want to see if I play games? I'll show you. <laughs> Your setup. <laughs> I will show you. We've got yeah, okay. games. Games. Hold on. Games! <laughs> Games! Hold on! Games! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yes, do I play games? Yes, I do. <laughs> Gente, ela joga, ela joga pra caramba, olha o tanto de jogo que ela tem. Ela tem até canal na Twitch, que é o Because I Claire, right? Yes, It's the name of your yeah, Twitch I channel. Claire, yeah. I love this name! It's because of Because I Care. Yeah. It was You know, I have to be cheesy and kind of punny with everything that I say. So it was like, well, because I care, then because I Claire. Um, so that was really awesome. I actually had, it was a fan of mine that on Twitter said something like jokingly like that. And then I was like, oh my God, that's it. That's the name. <laughs> so, uh, is this fan that. called Alikan, maybe? What was it? Uh His name is Ali Khan, maybe? Possibly. I can't remember who it was exactly. But yeah, yeah, they mentioned it and I loved it. And I was like, that's it. That's it. Yeah, he is from database family. Yeah. He's our uh, our mod from our channel, and he said it was me. Yeah. He said on the chat. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. So yeah. <laughs> Gente, o nome do canal dela da Twitch é Because I Claire por causa do Because I Care, né? Que ela fala para Sherry, né? Do, do, durante o jogo. Então por isso que é e quem quem se, quem deu esse nome para ela foi o Alicam que é da nossa comunidade aqui. Então, ó, tá vendo? Brasileiros fazendo história com Resident Evil. Super legal. Yes, Brasileiros uh, gonna win. <laughs> yay! Well, you have to come to Brazil sometime. I want to! I want to! <laughs> have you ever been in Brazil before? No, I haven't. The only place in South America I've been is Colombia, because my mom's from there. But I have not been to Brazil yet, so... I have a lot of friends well, in Brazilian, though. <laughs> So your mother is from Colombia, and uh, I I always thought your name was Italian, something like Spanicello, uh -huh. Spanicello. You know, actually, so I'm first generation American. So my mom is from Colombia, and my dad is from Spain. So I I'm actually Latin on both sides. No one knows it. They think I'm, you know, just uh, like you said, either Italian or French or just American. You know? <laughs> uh, so we we speak your name as Panicello. So in in Spanish it would be Panicello. 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 So, yeah, so it would mean like pan, like bread, e and sello, like a seal. So bread seal. So yeah, which is funny because my dad's actually a pastry chef. So it was very weird that my last name also has to do with what my dad did. But yeah, so Panicello. <laughs> Panicello. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gente, ela não é italiana, tá? Eu sempre falava Panicello, mas não é. É Panicello, porque o pai dela é espanhol. E a mãe dela da Colômbia, olha só, a gente se pensando aqui que ela era italiana. Well, you, 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 you actually don't look like an Italian. So. Yeah, I mean, I know I'm brunette. I know, that's usually the thing. So, yeah. Uh, Mike is asking you to speak a little Spanish. 
What do you What do you speak of of Spanish? Well, since your your okay, mother is from bueno. Colombia. Yeah. Um, bueno, para mí, si quieres que te vaya a hablar en español, te lo puedo hablar. Podemos hablar unas cosas de Resident Evil. Podemos hablar cosas así con Moni, que que Moni tiene un canal muy um, muy interesante. Me gusta ver todo lo que ella pone. Entonces ahí te lo hablo un poquito en español. <laughs> well, I understand uh, much more your English than your Spanish. <laughs> Because I do speak Spanish. So, well, people say it's very similar to Portuguese, but I don't think so. I think it's really hard for me. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah I, it's funny. I always see that. I always see my, my, my Brazilian friends um, and my, I have a few Portugal friends too. They always can't understand Spanish, but I understand the Portuguese. And I'm like, how? How? <laughs> it's different. I think it's the dialect. Because there's also, yeah. in Brazil, there's a lot of different dialects too, so. Yeah, both Spanish and Italian. Uh, people think it's much, uh, it's much easier to understand both of those languages. But actually, for me, since I'm much more familiar with uh, English, Uh, I never studied Spanish. You, you know what? I studied German because I didn't want to study Spanish because it was too similar to Portuguese. Now I don't understand Spanish. <laughs> That's too funny. That's okay. It makes sense, though. It makes sense. <laughs> yeah, and I gave up German, so I don't understand. German is so hard. German is so hard. I wish I understood, but I don't. So maybe one day when I go to Germany, I'll be able to understand. I'll like pick up a few words, so. Yeah, same here. <laughs> então, gente, ela fala espanhol, porque, né, por causa da, da família dela, ela fala espanhol, eu não falo espanhol, então eu entendo mais o inglês dela do que o, o, o espanhol, né, que ótimo, parabéns pra mim. Falei pra ela que eu não quis estudar espanhol, fui estudar alemão, larguei o alemão, então não aprendi nenhuma das duas, isso é ótimo. Uh, e vamos, vamos, vamos ver as perguntinhas de vocês aqui. Uh, there is a question from Lu, Lu Yves. Um, ask her why Claire starts the game with a gun. Why do you think it's that? I mean, I obviously don't make the rules or the decisions, but if I'm going to think realistically about why Claire probably starts with a gun, um, first off, it depends on the state that she lives in, because in the, U in the United States, there are certain states that we're allowed, well, actually, we're allowed to have weapons throughout, you know, obviously the U.S., but you can carry in certain states. So I assume that she probably has a concealed weapons license. She probably got this because she learned, you know, from her brother. She rides a motorcycle yes. by herself. She's traveling by herself. So potentially that's the reason why. She just has a concealed weapons license and she's obviously in you know middle america where i feel like that might be a legal thing so i think that's probably why she does yeah i think so too i think that's the the only explanation actually the only right? possible explanation actually yeah uh, gente é que ela falou tipo a claire sabe às vezes ela deve ter licença para usar arma de algum estado que pode usar nos estados unidos meio que do interior dos estados unidos do meio dos estados unidos ali e ela aprendeu com o irmão e ela tá viajando sozinha, né? Ela tá de moto sozinha, tá se virando sozinha. Então, eu acho que faz todo sentido, né, gente? Eu já falei sobre isso com vocês também. Vocês que não prestam atenção, hein? <laughs> Let me see other questions here. Ok, well, while people uh, are sending questions here, I have a question. Yeah. Um, have you been in Japan for Resident Evil 2? Have I been for Resident Evil 2? No. I no, because people were from uh, from Resident Evil 3, they, they had to go to Japan. Really? So they shot in Japan? That's yeah. That's pretty cool. No, we, no, our stuff was in Los Angeles. I did go to Japan with my mom for a trip. That was fun. <laughs> But not for Resident Evil 2, so yeah. <laughs> no, we shot everything here and the team came over here then to visit uh, on our end. Oh, that's so sad. Well, I was going to Japan this year, but what? Well, coronavirus stopped me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, that's that's really it'll be, that's horrible. It'll be even more of a bigger deal when you finally get to go, right? 
I feel like that's yeah. what it is. That's what, all it's making, all of this quarantine and coronavirus stuff is just making us appreciate everything so much more. So, yeah. Yeah, I hope so. And I'm studying Japanese. So oh, nice. when I get the chance to go again, I'll be speaking much better than now. Very nice. Very nice. Then. That's nice. Well, maybe I can even uh, interview some producer and try to get an information about a future game with Claire. Because I know you, you, you're not going to tell me anything. <laughs> Money. Money, if I knew something, yes, I wouldn't be able to tell you. But second, yeah. I, I wish I knew something. So fingers crossed. I know everyone's asking for it. So, um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on that fingers crossed boat with everybody. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Well, you, you disappeared once. <laughs> so I'll never forgive you. You disappeared. Well, when we were trying to have an one interview about the Evil Within Two, oh. and then you just disappeared. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I bet uh, if there is another game with Claire, you're going to disappear again. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> So I'm super adventurous. So I go camping. I go traveling. I'm like, I sometimes just disappear. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> yeah, it was just a coincidence. Okay. okay that I'll, time, that one time, yes. But I didn't okay. handle it. I didn't know what to do because it was my first time with a big franchise like that. And so I was very, very careful and I just didn't want to mess up, you know? So, um, but now I have experience. I don't need to disappear. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can just pretend you're not working <laughs> as Claire again. Since you are an actress. <laughs> so no, there's no Claire game at all. No, 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 no. Of course not. I wish it was, but no. <laughs> I, love, I love hearing the stuff that comes up. It's so funny because I said something when I was on a, on my Twitch channel talking, people were like, oh, Claire Redfield, do you think there's gonna be a code Veronica? Would you want to do it? And I said, I'd love to do it immediately all over the internet. I, I had um, an interview with, um, was it Residents of Evil, right? And I said that I had worked on a project with somebody else immediately over the internet. Everyone's like, oh, it's a Resident Evil game. Oh, it's this, oh, it's that. First off, it's not any of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that yeah. from uh, from your live stream. Oh, I'd love to work. Well, she is working on Resident Evil Cold Veronica. I was like, no, she didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, because, well, I, I work with Resident Evil for like 20 years already. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, so I kind of understand that. So uh, we have to filter uh, news like that. So it was like, well, she confirmed it. And then I went to look for it. And it was, no, she didn't. I didn't so I... anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm just having a conversation. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Just lyrics. <laughs> Gente, a gente estava falando, né, que é, ela falou que às vezes ela some, né, mas que não tem nada a ver com Resident Evil, mas ela some, porque assim, como eu disse, eu tava tentando entrevistar ela da época do Devil Within 2, aí ela sumiu, eu falei, bom, se ela sumir de novo a gente já sabe, porque tem um jogo com a Claire novo, ela falou, não, não, agora eu não vou mais desaparecer, porque agora eu tenho muito mais experiência. E aí a gente, ela falou que uma vez ela fez uma live uh, e ela falou, perguntaram se ela gostaria de fazer a Claire no Code Verônica Remake, ela falou, ah, adoraria. E a galera saiu falando que ela, que ela tinha confirmado o remake do Code Verônica. E não é verdade. <risos> e aí ela falou, cara, eu, outro dia eu também fiz uma live, falei que eu tava fazendo um projeto e falaram que era Resident Evil e não era. E ela falou que não tem nada a ver. Mas assim, né, gente, ela também não vai falar pra gente se for, né? Então, infelizmente... A gente só vai poder ficar especulando mesmo. A gente vai ter que tentar... We have to try to uh, find the truth on your face expressions. Are you doing Claire again? No, no, I'm not. Well, your eyes do not say that. <laughs> That's 
hilarious. No, honestly, like, it's been so, it's funny because I keep seeing um, that there's rumors supposedly about the game being made. I literally wrote this to Nick and was like, I hope they do it. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm in the same boat as everybody else. So um, it would be really nice. But you never know. I'm, I'm thankful I at least got to do it for Resident Evil 2. You know, it kind of, it seems like it gave love and life to be able to bring Resident Evil 3 in, you know? So that was really nice, you know, that it just even gave the opportunity for, for that game to come on. Um, so, you know, I'm thankful either way, whether it happens again or doesn't happen again. It's been great, so... <laughs> Well, Gabriel is asking you if you've seen uh, the, the Resident Evil movies. Uh, there is Ali Larter, mm -hmm. and she does Claire. Uh, have you seen it? I have. I have seen a few of the Resident Evil movies. Um, they obviously follow a very different uh, storyline, you know? So it's not quite the same. Um, I'll be honest, it's been a while since I've seen the one that has the Claire version in it. Um, mm -hmm. so I'd have to see that again. It's been a long time since I've seen those, but I do remember enjoying the films in general. Um, I just remember realizing like, oh, this is different. <laughs> this is a different yeah, story. it is. Yeah. Well, I love Ali Larter, but I don't think they made justice, uh, for her Claire, especially the storyline for her because, well, she's a truck driver and then she just, she's like a, an Uber driver. <laughs> well, <laughs> she doesn't do anything special and stuff. Uh, from Retribution, uh, the, the next movie with Claire, well, it, it gets better because she finds her brother and stuff like that, but then they, about, they just forget about her again and well, this is it. That's really sad. Well, there's, uh, there are rumors that um, Claire is going to be the main character uh, for the reboot uh, of the movies. For reboot movies? What? Mm -hmm. Shit. If only they would let us play, like, the live action. That would be amazing. I would totally be on that. <laughs> but, but I don't look exactly like Claire, you know? I don't have very fair skin. I don't have blue eyes. I don't have, like, the reddish-brown hair, so... I mean, I could technically no problem. Hair, but yeah. <laughs> you can dye your hair, and you look like Claire because you already did uh, a cosplay, right? Yeah, I've done a few cosplays. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a problem. Well, makeup can do wonderful I won't things. Go, I won't go in the sun. I won't see the sun. I'll get pale. <laughs> well, even even me, I can become Claire if you, you if I want. Like that. Are you kidding me? You <laughs> Claire. <risos> <risos> oh, not at all. <risos> Gente, eu tava falando com ela sobre o reboot dos filmes, que a Claire vai ser a personagem principal, né, pelo que estão dizendo, e ela falou, poxa, que droga, aí eu falei, ah, sei, sei, finge que não sabe, né, mas ela falou que não sabe mesmo, enfim, então, mas ela vai, dizem, né, que vai ser a personagem principal, e a gente tava conversando muito sobre isso, né, dessas coisas de rumores e tudo mais, então, mas, a princípio, a gente não sabe ainda se ela vai fazer a Claire de novo, tá, ela diz ela que não, diz ela que não, mas vamos esperar. Uh, about the Evil Within 2, um, can you tell us a little about the your work in this game? Yeah, um, sorry, real quick, I just saw a message from somebody here that I think is hilarious. It says, in three hours, there will be news about Stephanie confirming herself as Claire in the reboot movies. Ah, geez, guys. The internet, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Well, uh, the, the girl who said that uh, is Leticia, and she, she's amazing with memes. Yeah. She's amazing. Well, she may, she may be doing uh, a meme about it, so <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. If somebody says something, immediately the world says that's what she's doing. Steph Stephanie says, A. Hey, the world. She's confirmed as Claire again. <laughs> Literally, I feel like at this point, I'm like, I can say anything and it's going to show up. So I'm um, sorry, but okay. So Evil Within 2. So yes. um, as far as that game goes, I didn't do a lot of work. So it wasn't as much as this one was. Um, I did facial capture. 
So it was just the facial performance. Obviously somebody else had the voice and somebody else had the body, which is really interesting. So they actually split that one up into three parts. Um, but I, I had the role of Esmeralda Torres in that one. So I had to get that stats, you know, and that, that uh, military Latina. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, you know that uh, the Evil Within is like a Resident Evil sibling, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's from the same creator. That's what I from Resident Evil. Oh, am I so sorry? I'm still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I do. I do know. Um, I actually uh, the produce. I forget which producer I was working on with him, but I worked on um, Evil Within two with him, and I worked on Doom with him. So I don't know if he may have been part of the same project, but yeah. So, but it was fun. Well, the, the, the creator, uh, Shinji Mikami, he, he's the creator of the Resident Evil series. Um, and uh, he did The Evil Within 1 as a producer. And then The Evil Within 2, I think it was uh, Joe Johannes, I guess. And um, Shinji Mikami was the executive producer for uh, The Evil Within 2. Gotcha. And, uh, yeah. Oh, well, we, we wish uh, Mikami could come back to Resident Evil, but, well, we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> That's really sad. <laughs> but anyways, it's uh, it's... It's a small world. You never know with anything these days, so, yeah. Yeah, we hope so. Maybe one day he can forgive Capcom. <laughs> And join them again for Resident Evil. But it's it's nice to know that you've been uh, on the the two projects yeah. from Resident Evil Father. <laughs> well, I started with Evil Within 2. So it was because I went Doom, then to Evil Within 2, and then to Resident Evil. So yeah. Yeah, it was something like uh, when the, the parents divorce, and then you go to your father's house, for a weekend, and then the other weekend you go to your mother's house. Look, which is Capcom. A situation where you that happens, but you get to have two Christmases or two Hanukkahs or whatever. You know, <laughs> you just double up on the greatness. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> nah, and the uh, is like you know, we don't have qualms with anybody. Like. I love working on every project. Every project is fresh and new and um, yeah, you know. <laughs> Bom, gente, ela trabalhou no Devil Within 2, né, que é um jogo do Mikami, a gente tava falando sobre essa coisa de, é como se fosse um divórcio, ela trabalhou, ela ficou um fim de semana na casa do pai, né, e aí depois ela foi pra casa da mãe, que é a Capcom, né, porque Devil Within é do Mikami, assim como Resident Evil também era do Mikami, né, então ela participou, ela falou, posso ter dois natais, né, duas páscoas, dois feriados. Um, someone is asking you a very very important question. Okay. Do you believe in Cleon? <laughs> It's the ship for Claire and Leon. Oh my God. What do you think? That's hilarious. Um, no, I don't. Uh, because, because I just think that they're two different people. Um, I just don't think that their core value, I mean, their core values match up but they don't match up. They're just different. I feel like he feels like a brother to her. Um, I also think he has a certain type of girl, you know, that he likes. And I just don't think Claire is her, you know. I think it's more of like a brotherly, sisterly love there, you know. So, um, I mean, is it cute? And more power to everybody that wants to believe in it, for sure. But I think they're just not... Um, They're just not a perfect match, you know? So, you know, and it is what it is. And I think that's smarter for them to realize they're not a perfect match and be like, you know what? You're good looking. I'm good looking. I respect you. We just don't match up on everything. <laughs> Let's be friends. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe they could do uh, some kind of deal that when they are 40 and they are still single, They could get together. And they end up together. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. 
<laughs> well, I think Claire is totally the type for Leon because he likes strong women and uh, Claire is just the, the definition of uh, a strong woman and uh, I, I think they, they would be a nice couple and I think they f they had a little flirt on that gate. Oh, come on. Everybody wants to say that. You weren't flirting. Look, I can't help it if Claire is really charming and she's got a funny sense of humor. It's not her fault. It doesn't mean she's flirting. <laughs> she's so humble. Very, very humble. <laughs> Oh, well, uh, Ada here is the definition of Mina Lixo. It's a horrible woman who treats uh, men like trash. So, well, you know, Lixo is trash. Uh, in, in, yeah. And uh, Mina, it's a girl. It's girl. So yeah. Mina Lixo. Aww. She's a trashy, abusive woman. So uh, I think Ada is like the, the Mina Lixo for, for Leon. And I think Claire could save him. You know what? Leon's got to get through his... Can I, am I allowed to cuss on here? Am I allowed to say bad words? Sorry? Am I allowed to say a bad word? Of course. Okay. Um, I think that Leon needs to get over his shit first so that he can realize what he really wants in his life. But he also likes a mysterious woman. He likes that mystery. He likes the like, um, the like sexy, you don't know what you're gonna get mystery of it all, you know? And that's his choice. And I think Claire is more in your face, very straightforward, not really hiding anything, you know? And that may not be something he's attracted to, so. Yeah, okay. Uh, what about Steve? Have you played uh, Resident Evil called Veronica? I have not played all of it. I've only played a little bit of it, so I can't say that I know the entire game. I do know of Steve. I remember him being a little bit whiny. <laughs> yeah, he is, because... Oh, no, okay. okay. Poor Ryan Steve. He, he lost his it. family. Yeah. yeah, he's very young. He's 17. Yes. And, uh, well, he's naive. And then he, he gets, um, uh, what's, what's the word? Uh, he's very impulsive. And, and then uh, he, 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 he has a, a grudge on his heart. So I understand uh, his bad decisions yeah. and uh, his behavior. But do you think uh, Claire could have, uh, could have developed some kind of love interest for Steve? You know, I have to finish the game. If I get to finish the game, I'll be able to give you a real decision on that one. I haven't finished it, so I can't decide. It's still up in the air, you know, and uh, I can't, I don't know. I'd have to play it. <laughs> I'd have to finish playing it through. Yeah, okay, there's a, there's a, uh, a joke uh, in the, the, well, the Resident Evil database community at least, that uh, Claire has the dedo podre. What's that? Her finger to choose a man oh. is rot. <laughs> It's like, rot. She's not gonna She has a that. horrible taste for men because all her guys, they die or they are traitors. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like Leon has a bad one, too, though. Yeah, that's why they, they are men together. <laughs> Because they both like troubled people. <laughs> exactly. And there's uh, Revelations, too. There's Neil, who is uh, her boss in the TerraSafe organization. And, uh, well, we find out. Uh, oh, Nick is there. Hello, Nick. <laughs> How are you? Well, like I said, uh, Nick and, and um, uh, to Nick, uh, Leon and Claire are meant together. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> That's what it is. Nick, they, they keep trying to put our characters together. We don't have a choice, apparently. We both have bad pickers. We choose the wrong individual, but we should have ended up together. This is what we've been told. I told her, you're all for Ada. You like the mysterious woman type. And uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He said, woo! <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyways, about uh, Neil, he was the boss yeah. from Claire uh, at uh, TerraSafe. And we find out he's a traitor and stuff like that. And uh, I think she was kind of uh, in love with him. She had a crush on him. So, uh, well, I don't know. She is, well, she, she, doesn't, she has a, a bad look on love. Come on. Listen, Moni, don't we all? Don't we all? <laughs> I feel for Claire. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I guess you would find a, 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 a pair for you in like five minutes. <laughs> well, I'm Claire in Resident Evil 2 Remake. Okay. Will you marry me? <laughs> Speaking of marriage, did I, um, I don't know if you saw this, but one of my first big conventions that I went to, I had, um, I had two fans, a guy and a girl that were together. They came to see me. I did autographs. We did photos. And the next day, he came back by himself to see a panel I was on. And, uh, and he was like, he waited and he's like, uh, could you help me with something? And I was like, what? He asked me if I would help him propose to his girlfriend. Um, and I did. We ended up um, meeting at, I, so I, I helped him figure out everything. So she met us at the police station and I met him at a restaurant called Leon. And we met there and then we walked to the police station and she was there and she didn't know what was happening. And he proposed. And so, oh. yeah. So speaking of marriage and things like that, um, I felt so blessed that I got to be a part of that and that I was asked to be a part of that. So, um, so yeah. So I guess I can, I can help others, you know, with that. Yeah, you can help others. But, well, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's Leon and there's, there's Leon and there's Leon. Lots of choices for Claire. <laughs> money, money, come on. I'll okay, let, let me translate. Well, yeah, yeah okay, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. <risos> Bom, a gente falou sobre o Leon, ela falou que não, que acha que a Claire não é o tipo dele, que ele gosta de mulheres mais misteriosas e tudo, uma pena, mas eu acho que eu ainda acho que os dois, os dois iam formar um lindo casal juntos, né? Inclusive o Nick tá aí. Nick, Leon and Claire, together. When they are both 40. Eu falei, gente, quando os dois tiverem 40 anos, eles podem fazer um acordo. Tipo Monique Chandler, né? Ali. E se casar. Olha que coisa bonita. Eram amigos e viraram um casal, né? E aí eu falei do, do Steve. Ela falou que vai terminar o jogo primeiro para falar sobre o que, que ela acha se a Claire desenvolveu um amor pelo Steve. A gente falou do Neil, né? E eu, eu falei que ela tem dedo podre, né? A Claire tem dedo podre. Ela falou que o Leon também. E aí... Cleon, sure! Oh, even Nick approves it! Oh, Nick, don't feed them! Don't let them feed them! Don't feed the fans! I'm kidding. I think it's cute, so... <laughs> E aí ela disse que ela tava numa, num evento uma vez e aí um rapaz chamou ela pra ajudar ele a pedir a, a namorada dele em casamento. Aí eles foram pro restaurante que chamava Leon, de lá eles foram encontrar com a menina numa delegacia. E aí ele fez o pedido de casamento. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, ok, ok. So now Nick uh, is giving up. He said they are like more bro and sis. Oh, uh, ok. E? I yep. told you, yeah, no, for sure. There is a love there. All right. Like I said, and I don't know if Nick's heard this, but they both recognize they're attractive individuals. They're cool as can be. I really wanted to say cool as fuck, so I'm just going to say it. They're cool as fuck, but they understand that it's not a thing. So that's it. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay, I still have hopes. Okay, I still have hopes. Let's change the subject because now I'm I'm really sad. <laughs> Moni, Moni, in your world, they can in any universe. You make the decisions on what you want them to be. 
Ah, ok. Uh, someone is asking you about Tomb Raider. Uh, yeah. Did you work on Tomb Raider? Yeah, so I did. So first off, I'm a huge Tomb Raider fan, so I loved it since I was a little kid. And um, I had no idea that one day I would get to work on the project. But um, so I got to do motion capture for Lara Croft um, for Shadow of the Tomb Raiders. Uh, they had like the big cinematic trailer that was like very active. And she was like, you know, climbing rocks and stabbing people and fighting things and she had her bone out, like everything. So I got to be in Lara Croft's like, you know, be her for like that project, which was amazing. Obviously it's still Camila Luddington, who's the actual uh, Lara Croft, but um, it was the most amazing thing. I loved that I was Lara, like it was surreal. So I got to do that and it was just so much fun. Um, it was one of those things like, you know, which is similar to this project where you're just like that, as much as you are an actor and obviously it's a profession and you know, you, you do take it very seriously. At the same time, you're also like a geek and a nerd and you love this stuff. And so you're like, oh my God, I get to do this. <laughs> so yes, I, get to, I did get to be in Shadow of the Tomb Raiders um, and play, do motion capture as Lara Croft for their big cinematic trailer. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. So you've been both Lara and Claire, and I think they are very similar, actually. They are very adventurous, and they are very impulsive and very strong. Uh, they love to do dangerous things, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you were meant for that. There is a theme here, clearly, so, yeah. <laughs> and, and do you like, uh, do you think you can relate to, to Claire and Lara on this, uh, these features, like... Uh, well, I like adventures, I like motorcycles or stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. Really? So, so I grew up in a family, my entire family uh, drives motorcycles. So my mom, my dad, my three brothers, you know, I'm the only one who doesn't, but I have been around motorcycles my entire life. Um, I love the outdoors, like love the outdoors. So I will go do adventurous rock climbing, I go hiking, I go, um, I mean, pretty much anything and everything that's outside, you'll find me. I've been like spelunking like deep in caves, you know, uh, zip lining, staying in tree houses, like crazy, crazy stuff. I've actually gone to, um, in, in Cambodia, there's, um, so if you've seen the Tomb Raider films and stuff, they've actually shot some of the movie there at the Jungle Temple that is an anchor Y. And I totally went there and was like, oh my God, I feel like Lara Croft. <laughs> Whoa, you're going, to, you would going to love uh, a place uh, here in Brazil. It's called Bonito. Mm -hmm. uh, in Beautiful. the center of the country, it's called Bonito. Yeah. You would love to go there because there's lots of things to do with adventure. Well, my husband always wants to go there and I say, no, there are a lot of mosquitoes in there. Oh, Leave I, me alone. I would do it. I find <laughs> mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are my friends. Let's go. <laughs> but yeah, so okay. I definitely, definitely can relate on that front. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of fun. All of that stuff's a lot of fun. But I've also, I don't know if you saw, I played, um, I have a recent game that came out for Trials of Mana. So that's a different one. I don't know if your audience is into that kind of stuff. But Trials of Mana, I play a fairy. Totally different totally different you know um so it just depends but i definitely definitely do relate to claire and to lara and you know i feel like you can always bring a little piece of yourself to every character and that character also feeds you as well so yeah i agree let's make a deal if you come to brazil i accept to go to bonito with you and uh your crush and my husband we can we can do a group <laughs> and go together and i was like i'm going to be like no i have lots of repellent on me but you'll do you it. you guys go but you'll do it <laughs> no but you have to do it if you actually want me to do this you have to do it you have to show up you got to wear that repellent we're going to do our very best not to do any complaining we're just going to go for it you're welcome to dress as whatever character you love if you want to be Claire, if it makes you feel more badass and feel like you can handle the mosquitoes, or, you know, whatever you want to do. 
Okay, okay, okay. Well, Claire will protect me from the mosquitoes. And so. Jacket probably will too, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gente, ela falou que ela trabalhou em Tomb Raider, ela fez a Claire nos trailers cinemáticos da, do Shadow of the Tomb Raider. E aí a gente conversou muito sobre essa questão de aventura e tudo mais, ela falou que adora. E aí eu falei pra ela, pra ela vir pra Bonito, né, aqui no, no Brasil. E, bom, o é doido pra ir, né, meu marido é doido pra ir. Eu falei, ai não, gente, tem muito mosquito. E ela falou que... Aí eu falei, olha, se você vier um dia, aí a gente vai pra Bonito todo mundo junto. Mas eu só vou com a Claire. Só vou porque ela me protege, né? E ela falou, ah, e a jaqueta também, tá vendo, gente? Então, tudo bem. Com a Clara, eu tenho coragem de ir. <risos> Someone said, don't forget about the green plus red herbs. Oh, yes, don't worry. And we'll, we'll be uh, bringing whatever we need, our first aid kits. Sounds like we're going to need to bring that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, someone was shipping Claire and Lara. It was Clara. Well, I think they are too similar. I don't think they would uh, get together uh, really well in a relationship because there is the there is a saying that that goes like. Um, Uh, dois bicudos não se beijam. It's like uh, two two people very similar. They they don't kiss. They don't, yeah. they, they don't match. They don't match. That makes sense. You know, I think they they um, they're a bit of loners. They're the loner types. You know, so I don't know uh, if it would if it would work out. But they might be friends. You know, because they can yeah. understand each other in that sense. So. Um, I don't know. It's very interesting to think of what characters would want to be friends and what characters would end up together. It's very interesting. Very interesting conversation. <laughs> yeah, they can start as friends and then get together, just like Claire and Leon. They are friends now. <laughs> they can get together. Like, okay, I feel like you had an agenda, Moni. Was this the agenda? Was to make sure that these two... <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious. Oh, my God. Yeah. Então, gente, a gente tava falando que alguém tava chipando a Claire e a Lara. Aí eu falei, ah, eu acho que as duas são muito iguais. Não sei se num relacionamento daria certo, porque dois bicudos não se beijam, né? Ela falou, mas elas podiam ser amigas. Eu falei, ah, eu podia começar com uma amiga e dar uns pega, assim como Claire e Leon, gente. Aí ela falou que eu tenho planos. Eu não tenho planos, é a Capcom que decide, né, gente? Uh, Thiago was asking you about uh, the, the original Resident Evil 2. Have you played it? Yes. Yeah. I have. Yes, I definitely have. I mean, I played it years ago. I did, um, when I landed the role, I did try and check it out a little bit, but I didn't want to have it too fresh in my mind because sometimes that can alter the way that you decide to do things and you don't want to ever mimic something, you know? But I mm -hmm. have played it. It's awesome. It's obviously, like, I feel like pretty much put horror on the map, you know, for games you know, and really made it something. So, um, yes, love it. And, uh, I mean, I can probably attest to the fact that I, it blew my mind when I got to play as Claire, you know, so, but I have played it. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I like uh, much more the, the campaign for Claire. Sorry, Nick. Well, he's not here anymore, so I can see it. <laughs> but I don't want to hurt his feelings. I, I love Leon. Well, people say I don't like Leon. Actually, I'm trying to protect him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we say here in Brazil that Leon is gado. You know gado, cattle? No. What does it mean? Cattle. You know cattle? Gado? Oh, cattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, he's like, he's, he's a cattle for Ada. Oh, so like, he's always... like a sheep. Almost like a sheep for Ada, right? Okay, yeah, I got you. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. You know what? It was when he first started. That's his origin story. That's how he began. He's gonna learn. He's gonna become a t complete and total badass. <laughs> yeah, in the in the remake, uh, that's why I like uh, Claire's campaign much more than Leon's campaign because it's much more uh, similar to the original game mm -hmm. than the campaign for Leon because in the original game, Leon and Ada they really love each other. And this time they, they did something like fatal attraction. Yeah. Something seductive. 
and uh, I, I like uh, that uh, that feeling between them, that true love that was born in that difficult situation and stuff. And that's why I like much more the the campaign with Claire because she's much more uh, similar to the original game. And she's very protective and also very impulsive. Uh, and I always say there's a, there is a song for Claire from the Beatles. It's like Ticket to Ride. It's totally... Ticket to Ride? Oh, my God, that's Claire is. <laughs> yeah, she's got a ticket to ride. She goes anywhere. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That's a great song for her, then. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I always relate uh, Ticket to Ride with Claire because she's, she's got a ticket to ride. She, she, she does, don't care. She does. Whatever she needs to do. She's like, you don't like me? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know? like, yeah, exactly. And uh, just, like, uh, just like Claire, uh, do you like children? Yes, I do. I love kids. I totally love kids. I actually get along really well with it's funny growing up i always got along with children and elderly people it was always like that in between age that it was like always weird you know and then i got to like realize then i became more like claire and said i don't really give a shit what you think about me and then everyone just accepts you and those that don't you just say bye bye <laughs> <laughs> alessa is asking you would you adopt sherry oh she's so adorable you know what I feel like you're saying like me as Stephanie, would I adopt Sherry? I think she's so adorable. Like, um, I, yes. I mean, I feel like she's, she's like this perfect, like little kid that's been through a lot of stuff, but, um, has like a heart of gold and is like, is stronger than she realizes. So yeah, I think Sherry's a, a little badass. She's like a little badass in the making, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Bom, a gente perguntaram se ela adotaria a Sherry, ela disse que sim, né? Eu, fa eu falei que a campanha do, do Leon, eu não gosto tanto no remake, porque ficou muito superficial a relação dele com a Eida e tudo. E eu falei que eu gosto muito mais da campanha da Claire, justamente porque é muito semelhante com o jogo clássico. E ela falou que ela jogou, sim, o jogo clássico, só que faz muito tempo e ela não quis rejogar para não ficar muito fresco, para ela não ficar meio que imitando, né, a situação da, do jogo clássico, né, imitando a Claire do jogo clássico. Uh, what time is it? Uh, how much time do we still have here on we Instagram? Have, I don't know. I don't know how long they let us stay on because I think they kick us out after a while, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. as long as you know, you you let me know. I'm good to talk. So. <laughs> yeah. Well. Well. When it's time to to end. I'll just interrupt you and say, okay, we have to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Say, go say goodbye to your mother. Say goodbye to your mother, Sherry. <laughs> That's hilarious. Although I have to admit, I think so everyone says that Claire has this like motherly thing about her, but I think it's more of like a sisterly thing about her because she's a big sister and big sisters tend yeah. to be um, nurturing, but it's not the same as a mom. You know what I mean? Like, a mom is, like, all sacrificing, I feel, like, and doesn't tell kids straight up that they're being little shits. While I think Claire would be like, yo, Sherry, stop being a little shit and hold your own weight. I'll teach you how to do it, but, you know, like... Say goodbye to your mother now. <laughs> oh, poor Sherry. And uh, about Ada, someone asked, uh, let me find... I can find who asked, but uh, how do you think uh, Claire would interact uh, with Ada uh, in the remake? Uh, do you think they would get along together? I don't. They are totally that. opposites. I think you know. I I think Claire would not be as trusting as Leon was. I think she would be trying to figure out what her deal is, you know? So it doesn't mean that they wouldn't get along. If Ada opened up and gave her information and all that stuff, I think they would work together. But if she didn't and she didn't show any sense of remorse and stuff, I don't think they would have. So. Yeah, maybe Claire could surprise Ada doing something naughty and then try to warn Leon. Well, Leon, she's not that good. <laughs> Be careful. And Liam was like, no, 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 I know her. Ada wouldn't do something like that. <laughs> <laughs> she would never. And then Claire would be like, um, 
I don't know about this woman. Like, yes, let's work with her because she obviously has more information than us, but I don't know if this is the right thing. So she better speak up or, you know, so I don't know. It'd be interesting. Yeah, you know her for like 20 minutes. <laughs> that's all you need. Can't you just you look into their eyes and you read their soul and that's it. That's all you need, right? <laughs> Yeah, just like me, trying to read your soul. <laughs> if you're really not doing Claire again. <laughs> funny, you're too funny. <laughs> uh, Clemist, uh, Clemist is asking, would you and Claire get along? Yes, absolutely. I think Claire and I would definitely get along. I think she would be my best friend, honestly. Um, I think that she might be a bit more impulsive than I am. In some ways, which I would have to be like, yo, calm down, woman, you know, like, it's okay. But um, I think that a little bit older, more mature version of Claire, I feel like would be like totally easy going with me. But I think we heard I would totally be friends. We would be like sister types, you know, so. Yeah, maybe sisters in law. <laughs> yeah, I like to ship people together. That's so cute. You're so funny. I'm 34, but I act like a 15 years old girl. Don't we all? I still think I'm 12. I still think I'm 12. <laughs> gente, a gente tava falando sobre a Aida e a Clara falou que não, que acha que elas não se dariam bem, que né, só se a, se a Aida fosse mais sincera, e quanto a Clara elas seriam como irmã, quanto a a Jill elas seriam como irmãs. A Claire e a Jill. Last question, everyone. Do a good question. I'm waiting for the best question of all. By the way, uh, there's an interview with Stephanie from... Well, I tried, like, for one year to get this interview. I was almost giving up. Everyone was like, oh, ask Stephanie for an interview. And I was like, well, I did. I sent the questions. I'm She sorry. still haven't... <laughs> it, don't take it personally. I had a lot of stuff going on at that time. Yeah, so don't worry. Don't take it personally. <laughs> <laughs> Mas de qualquer forma, gente, vai sair uma entrevista com a Stephanie lá no canal. É, não saiu antes porque agora vai sair o Resident Evil 3 e tudo. Então eu tava trabalhando nos conteúdos. Nameless is asking you. Okay, the last question. Yeah. Are you still still doing live streams on Twitch? Okay, I haven't done one recently um, because I have an older computer and I'm trying to make sure it doesn't mess up, especially during quarantine because I don't know when I'll be able to get it fixed. So I haven't been able to, but I will start doing them and I'll definitely let everybody else know when I start to do them. I just unfortunately haven't had a chance yet, so. Okay, let's do a Patreon for you so we can get you a new computer. <laughs> no, I feel bad. I don't want to take anybody's money. Like, I, I need a new computer. Um, and I would love a new computer, but I, I, I don't want to take anyone's money, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have 15 seconds, okay. so thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you so much. It was lovely. Thank you, so great. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Sending you. I, I would do the heart, but I have one hand. So, <laughs> my heart.